Hey there, CPO here, and in this video, I'm gonna be installing this fuel door on my 2015 JKU. Uh, this is an El Cheapo sort of a fuel door. I've seen these before for as much as 50 bucks, um, but you can look around and find uh, these sort of mass-produced Chinese uh, knockoff versions uh, for much cheaper. I would say I paid uh, much less than that, probably in the realm of 10 bucks for this. And I thought, you know what, for 10 bucks, why not? So uh, I'm gonna pop this on uh, the Jeep because it's a little bit dirty and I'm really trying to just find something else to do other than washing it. So uh, this I should be able to do without cleaning it. <laughs> Some of my other projects are gonna require me to wash the Jeep first. So uh, I'll show you this process. It's pretty easy. Basically what we're gonna do is pop out the old one, punch in the new one. It's that easy. All right, so first I'm gonna zip off this guy and it's just those two which allows you to bring this out once you get in there you can see this is held on with little clips and you're just going to basically take a flathead screwdriver and uh, punch those clips what i want to do is pull this rubber seal Once you get this thing started, it comes out uh, fairly easy. You just gotta get one of the edges pulled off. That's gonna free this up in here. And then what we can go through is go in and uh, punch those clips from through here. And there you go. Once you get those two free, the entire thing will just come off. Pop this off so that we can add it to the new one. So that's what it looks like. There's just these little clips that you're pushing in so that it can clear. Um, and once you get those two popped out, the whole thing comes apart. Uh, but I'm just basically reaching in with a screwdriver and pressing those pretty easy. Now this new one's gonna go right in the same place just like that, but before I push it in, I do want to go ahead and insert this rubber seal on here. I've seen people try and do this install, putting in the rubber seal after, or the gasket, whatever this is called, uh, but I'm 100% convinced they all end up putting it on this directly. All right, it's on there. Now as I fit this into place, I'm just gonna sort of work that around. If it gives you too much grease, you can use a little lubricant. Either a squirt of dish soap or WD-40 or something like that. Seems to be going on okay. There we go. And now we're gonna put it on exactly the same way except on this what i'm going to do is set the bottom in there first there's a little indexing hole right here and uh a little knobby that's going to line up with that indexing hole and that helps you align it so then this guy boom All right, so that there is a super inexpensive and easy to do modification for your Jeep Wrangler JK. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you on the next one.